Ducati's hypermotored 698 Mono isn't just another entry-level addition to the hypermotored lineage. While it serves as the smaller displacement and more affordable alternative to the hypermotored 950 V-Twin, it stands out as a thrilling and distinctive member of the family. Representing Ducati's fresh take on the street-legal supermoto segment, it's achieved through a rigorous focus on lightweight design, performance, and cutting-edge technology. Although Ducati's approach is distinctive, it shares similarities with KTM, Husqvarna, and GasGas, Gas, whose 690 SMCR, 701 Supermoto, and SM700 models, respectively, offer comparable specifications and unique styling. These bikes, alongside the Hyper 698 Mono, aim to deliver significantly more performance than entry-level options such as the Kawasaki KLX 300 SM and Suzuki DR Z400 SM, solidifying their position in the beloved yet niche supermoto category. If you're curious about Ducati's decision to invest in a segment with limited competition, you're not alone. While Ducati claims it stems from a desire to create something exhilarating and enjoyable, a true passion project, it's also likely a strategic move. Ducati likely seeks to showcase the impressive performance of its all-new Super Quadro Mono single-cylinder engine, which was unveiled before the Hyper 698. What better platform to exhibit this new, high-performance engine than in a supermoto designed purely for unbridled fun? To appreciate the hypermotored 698 Mono is to admire the engine that defines its character. So, just how much character does it possess? Hint, a lot. And how does this influence the riding experience? Hint, significantly? To find out, we ventured to a kart track near Valencia, Spain, an arena often used by local racing professionals for training and testing. Let's take a closer look at the distinguishing features of the new bike, known for its hyper-performance. Regarding the bike, when discussing these bikes, it's important to note that Ducati offers multiple versions. Alongside the base model hypermotored 698 priced at $12,995, there's the 698 Mono RV, boasting a striking graffiti, livery, and bi-directional quickshifter. Albeit at a slightly higher price of $14,495 MSRP. Powering the bike is an engine often described as half of the 1299 Panigale engine, given its significant design and hardware similarities with the iconic V-Twin. Noteworthy specifications include a bore and stroke of 116.0 by 62.4 mm, accommodating the same valve diameters as the 1299. 46.8 mm titanium intakes and 38.2 mm steel exhausts. The piston and combustion chamber maintain the exact configuration as found in the Panigale. Equipped with a desmodromic head, the engine employs a dedicated set of rocker arms and cam lobes to optimize power delivery in the mid-range. Ducati boasts figures of 77.5 horsepower at 9,750 rpm and 46 pound FT of torque at 8,000 rpm. Notably, over 70% of the maximum torque is available at 3,000 rpm, with over 80% accessible between 4,500 and 10,250 rpm. The inclusion of a Terminioni exhaust reduces weight by 3.3 pounds while adding 7 horsepower. Weight reduction was a significant priority during the design phase, evident in features such as magnesium engine covers and an aluminum cylinder sleeve akin to those used in the 1299 Superleggera. The total engine weight stands at 98.3 pounds, commendably light, albeit 2 pounds heavier than the claimed engine weight for competitors such as KTM, Husqvarna, and GasGas. Gas. While these engines offer slightly more torque, claimed 54 pound, FT, at 6,500 RPM, they produce less peak power, 74 horsepower at 8,000 RPM. To mitigate vibration, two balance shafts are employed, similar to the KTM-based competition. However, a notable difference is that Ducati's balance shafts are located in the crankcase rather than in the head, attributed to the space limitations imposed by the desmodromic system. Typically, we refrain from drawing numerous comparisons between competing models, but given the focus scope and nearly identical specifications, it's apt here. Take, for instance, the Hyper, boasting 26.1 degrees of rake and 4.2 inches of trail, figures easily matched by the Gas Gas SM700 with its 26.4 degrees of rake and 4.2 inches of trail. 
The significant disparity lies in the wheelbase, with Ducati opting for a shorter 56.8-inch wheelbase compared to the Gas Gas 57.9 inches. The shorter wheelbase owes itself to a compact 22.5-inch swing arm, a design choice by Ducati to enhance the bike's agility and playfulness. The brand new steel trellis frame features differentiated thicknesses and sections to optimize both weight and stiffness, boasting a total frame weight of 15.9 pounds. Further weight-saving measures come via cast aluminum wheels, 1.1 pounds lighter than equally sized spoked wheels, akin to those found on the KTM and Husqvarna. The Gas Gas also employs cast wheels. Claimed wet weight, excluding fuel, stands at 333 pounds, slightly higher than the competition's average dry weight of around 324 pounds. It's worth noting that weight variations will likely occur due to the Ducati's smaller 3.0-gallon gas tank compared to the Gas Gas's 3.6-gallon capacity. Although minor, these differences are worth considering, with the final verdict on weight awaiting assessment on the cycle world scale. The suspension setup comprises a fully adjustable Marzaki fork and fully adjustable sack shock, offering 8.5 inches of front suspension travel and 9.4 inches at the rear, mirroring the gas gas's figures. The seat height measures a remarkable 35.6 inches, slightly higher than the gas gas but lower than the Husqvarna, which boasts a taller seat height than its counterparts. Further distinguishing features include the Ducati's larger front brake disc, outstripping the competition by 10 millimeters, and a more comprehensive electronics package inclusive of four ABS settings, facilitating easier sliding and less. Of course, you prefer to keep your wheels in check as you acclimate to the Supermoto experience. The electronic suite features Ducati wheelie control with lean angle sensitivity for levels, plus off, Ducati traction control, eight levels, plus off, and engine brake control, three levels. Ride modes encompass sport, road, urban, and wet. Adjustments are made via switches on the left-hand side of the handlebar and confirmed through a 3.8-inch LCD display, which, while compact, exudes a stylish and modern aesthetic surpassing that of its rivals. Reflecting its performance-oriented ethos, the bike's design showcases sharp lines and minimalist cowl. Compared to its larger V-twin counterparts in the hypermotored series, it exudes a distinctly dirt bike-like presence. Riding Impressions Previous experiences with the V-twin-powered hypermotors on the track left a lingering sense of mismatch, too unwieldy for tight cart circuits yet too focused for broader racetracks. While this aligns with the intentions of the larger hypermotored models as urban hooligans rather than track titans, it's worth noting as it underscores the unique intentions of the Hyper 698 Mono. While not as razor-sharp as a dedicated 450 motocrosser turned supermotored, the gap between these concepts feels narrower than ever before. Much of this sensation emanates from the spirited and visually stunning single-cylinder engine, boasting more low-end grunt than its specs and emphasis on high-revving performance might imply. Revs climb rapidly, reaching the 10,250 RPM redline sooner than expected. It presents a livelier, more exhilarating package compared to competitors, particularly on the racetrack, demanding constant attention. Notably absent is the typical roughness associated with big bore singles at lower revs. A tall first gear ensures you won't immediately hit the rev limiter when starting from a stop, but it requires a delicate balance of throttle control to prevent stalling as you accelerate away, especially when navigating through traffic lights. Let's face it, most of these bikes will primarily be ridden on city streets. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe if you like videos like this. Thank you.